Do you know what the number one ranking factor is to drive more organic traffic and see higher organic rankings for your website is? Well, most people would say that it's quality links out there on the internet pointing to your domain. But here's the problem, monitoring those backlinks pointing to your website can be insanely expensive. Most of the SEO tools out there cost 100, 200, 300, even $1,000 per month. So in this week's video, I wanna share with you several free tools that you can use to check the links that are out there on the internet pointing to your website. On this channel, we talk a lot about strategies to drive better results for your business through efficient SEO and low cost PPC strategies. My name's Scott Redgate, I'm an online marketing coach, and if you're just getting started marketing your website, or if you've been doing this for a while but you really don't know what you're doing, make sure to grab my free seven-day online marketing jumpstart doc. You can get it at scottredgate.com jumpstart, and I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, so the first place that you can go to check the links to your website is the Google Search Console. Now, if you have not set up your Google Search Console account, it is completely free and it gives you a lot of statistics and information about your website and the pages that are ranking well in Google Search and the searches that people are typing in that lead to your website. So it is a treasure chest of information and it's completely free to set up with Google. Now, most content management systems make it super easy to set up Google Search Console and they have a direct integration. But if you don't have an easy to use content management system, usually there's just a little piece of code that you need to put on your website and that verifies your website so then you can have access to your Google Search Console account. Now, once you do have Google Search Console set up, on the bottom left-hand side, you'll see this link section right here and you can click this. And now the section that we wanna focus on is right here, top linking sites. So these are websites that are out there on the internet that are linking to my website. And so you can select more here, and this gives you a snapshot according to Google. So for me personally, it says that I have 34 links, and then when you go here, this is it says it's coming from 14 domains. Now, you can click in to each of these to see what the specific URL that is linking to you, and that can be very helpful. But overall, I'd say the Google Search Console is one of my least favorite places to look for backlinks because I feel like they're only giving you a small percentage of what actually exists out there on the internet. So the pro is Google Search Console is free and it's data directly from Google, but the con is I feel like they're only giving you a small subset. Now the next free tool that you can use to see what websites are linking to you is the Ahrefs Backlink Checker. Now, Ahrefs is one of the more expensive SEO tools out there, but they do currently offer their backlink checker, at least a portion of it, for free. And you don't even need to sign up for an account to be able to use this. So go to the Ahrefs Backlink Checker. I'll leave a link in the description below. And then simply input the domain. So I'll input my domain right here, if I can spell correctly. And then you hit Enter. And it takes a second. And then Ahrefs will give you a score for what your domain rating is, the quantity of backlinks that it has found, and then the linking domains that Ahrefs has found in their index as well. And so if you remember, Google had me at 14 linking root domains and Ahrefs has me at 24. But I like this presentation because you can see the referring page. They even give you right here, this DR stands for domain rating. So you can see how authoritative the website that, that is linking to you is. It gives you the referring page and then it gives you a snippet of where your link resides on that page. And it's very simple to look at and so you can scroll down here and so, and so you can get a feel relatively quickly. All right, the last free tool that I'll mention here is the Moz Link Explorer. This used to be called Open Site Explorer uh, in the days when Moz used to be called SEO Moz and then they had a company rebranding, but same principle. So all you need to do is you need to enter in your URL and you can click Analyze. Now the cons with the Moz Link Explorer, you do need to have an account and then you're only given 10 queries per month. So you can check your domain 10 times per month or you can check other websites out there on the internet, but you're limited to 10 per month unless you wanna pay. And so just like Ahrefs, Moz will give you their variation of domain authority. They'll tell you how many websites out there on the internet are linking to you, and then how many total inbound links from those websites. And the difference between these two numbers, so right now it says there's 22 websites linking to me, but there's 40 inbound links. That could mean that there's more than one link on those domains that equals 40 inbound links. So that's the difference between those two numbers. I like the Moz Link Explorer because it gives you a 
discovered in lost linking domain. And so you can see where they found that my domain was gaining links and the days that they saw that it was decreasing with the quantity of links. And then as you scroll down, you have more information like the top pages, the anchor text. So the anchor text is the specific clickable text uh, that the link that's pointing to my domain, like what it actually says. And then there's a bunch of other information. And so while I have more links than a lot of small businesses out there, the number that I have is still really low. And the reason why is because for me, I prioritize my YouTube channel and the content that I create from YouTube to drive leads for my online marketing coaching business compared to SEO. Now I still get a lot of leads submitted via SEO, but again, YouTube is still my priority channel. And so if you were wondering why the number of linking root domains for me was so low, that's the reason why. And I've got one more place that you can check to see who is linking to you. And now this will probably be the most robust information. And that's because it's not free, but it's super cheap. And so AppSumo is an app marketplace where instead of paying a monthly subscription, you can pay a one-time fee and then you have access to that tool for life. And there are tons of SEO tools that are listed on this website. And most of these, as you read the description, have backlink checkers built in. And they'll give you a lot more information than those free tools that we just looked at. And so this list changes all the time. There's apps that are coming into AppSumo and apps that are leaving AppSumo. And so at whatever time you're watching this, click the link in the description below to access AppSumo, search for SEO, find one of the top rated tools and AppSumo makes it really easy here, you can see by instead of stars, they have tacos and you can see how many people have reviewed it. Find a tool that mentions backlink checker in it, pay a one-time license fee, and then you are good to go. And if that tool doesn't work out for you, AppSumo has a pretty nice guarantee. I believe it's a 60-day money-back guarantee, uh, so there's very little risk with moving forward with it. Well, hey friends, I hope that was helpful for you so that you're not paying an arm and a leg just to be able to check the links that are coming into your website. If that video was helpful for you, could you do me a favor? Could you like this video and subscribe to my channel? That will give me a little momentum in YouTube's algorithm. Take care.